All right, so first, first of all, it starts with a D minor chord. And it's not this D minor, it's a D minor with your little finger. I'm just putting my finger down there so you see what I'm doing, but that's not where it should be. It should be up here, because it's going to be going on and off here on the C. So you're going... That note's a C, by the way, that's why I call it a C. Same way a C chord starts there. So we've got... That's how it begins. So it's open. Now that itself is so hard. So you've got... Then you go up on the chord. Then back to this C note. Then up, up, down on a B flat. Then C, which is two up, down, up, down on that C bar chord. And then an up. And then the whole thing starts again. So I'll do it through as a kind of loop. That's how it goes. Don't do this. The temptation might be to do the cheat and go, you know, where you do those two notes without the D minor chord. Right. Leave them down. Because there's a few reasons why. It's more elegant, firstly. And secondly, as you play over here, we're not doing this today, but as you play, you might kind of accidentally hit a few notes at once, and it'll sound like this. Which also sounds cool. You see, it's not like... You can hit several notes at once and it sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, they're all, it's very forgiving. But these fingers need to be down to do that. So I'll do it again. So you've got open, then here, D minor, up, down on this note, up, up, down on the B flat, then the C, down, up, down, up. Now try and get those exact ups the way I'm saying it. They don't, yeah. they don't seem to make much sense at this point, but when it goes faster, It, it works with a flowing strumming hand. Yeah, okay. 